today is an exciting day because for a change. And finally, the day has come when the children of Africa, descendants of the formerly enslaved, and those Africans who left Africa in search of greener pastures, it is time for us to organize and go home and take advantage of what belongs to us. As we come together today, I want you to be clear about one thing. The Chinese are leaving their prisons, released by the Chinese government to go to Africa with nothing. Prisoners are going to Africa with nothing and give it a year or two, they're multimillionaires. Indians are not leaving India to go to Africa because they love the Africans. The Middle Easterners, the Russians, the Europeans, the people from all over the world, non-Africans are going to Africa not because they love the Africans, but because there's something amazing and wonderful going on in Africa. The reality for us, ADDI members, we realize that many of us, too many of us, are not aware of the opportunities that are in Africa. We are too scared to even think we can invest in Africa. We think when we go to Africa to invest, we must have billions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Edidia is saying, we know where the low hanging fruits are. We know what the challenges are that African diaspora and Friends of Africa have faced as they try to go to Africa to invest. We are here to bring you how easy to showcase to you how easy it is to do business in Africa. We are here to show you how you too can go to Africa poor and come back rich. It's not major science. You don't need to be an Albert Einstein to understand it. again, brothers and sisters, to this second part of, the, of my introduction to the ADDI, the African Diaspora Development Institute. In the first part, I, I covered certain things uh, mainly from their website and this is just a continuation um, and then there is the administrative team led by dr arikana and you have sector chairman of the you have sector leaders director of finance their names and their pictures and links to them uh, are on are in the on the the website the administrative team and you have their names and information about them deputy legal advisor chief accountant director of human resources director of compliance director of project management director of chapter formation and director of outreach. Now, I, I will just, I know also some pictures are, are missing because the, naturally the website and the organization is being developed. I'll just say that, and I could be wrong, that the director of outreach, as you will see, is wearing a red, we call it a, a red tam, people from Jamaica, and in Jamaica we call it a red tam. And I am assuming, but I could be wrong, uh, because all I will say is I see um, uh, Brother Julius Malema, he wears a, a, a red tam like this, whatever. I am assuming that she belongs to, that, to the e, uh, Economic Liberation Front in, of South Africa. I assume she's a member of that organization, but I'm not sure about that. Um, and. I see there is a, 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 a form where you can sign up to, to contact the, the ADDI and um, 
uh, how to join the movement and how to follow their activities on social media. Now, I, I, I see uh, at the bottom of that web page, I see uh, 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 an African map on a, a circle on, on the globe with an S and it marks the, what's written there is social Africa. And when you click on it, a, a form comes up. I am not sure what this form is about. And of course, I'm going to look, look up these things some more so that I can join, hopefully, by the time I put out the next, we put out the next video, I'll be able to say I've joined ADDI, joined, link the ADDI with, sorry, link the, this channel, the Black Econ Network channel with ADDI. And um, I'm hoping that this Social Africa is the beginning well, it says to sign up, but uh, whatever is the detail about that, what art means, I will say this, that I'm hoping that ADDI or the Black Economic Power Movement will try to de develop its own platform on the internet. Because uh, uh, right now, all the platforms that exist on the internet, well, all of them that I know about are owned and controlled by other races. There is no black uh, uh, internet platform. And what that means, of course, is we need to develop and have things like the other races, can't be depending on the other races uh, for all of these things, particularly something like this at this time. Because what it means is that the uh, we can be cut off or certainly diminish significantly by uh, any of them. YouTube, for example, uh, if YouTube decides to pull the plug on Africa and African YouTubers or selectively pull the plug on people in the diaspora, diasporans, including myself, then uh, I don't even need to say what that, what that will mean. So that's a crucial and important thing that I hope we will, that the movement will develop its own internet platform. Uh, uh, this is very important. The next uh, part of the we website shows the ADDI sectors, uh, agriculture, chapter formation, culture, uh, digital technology, education, engineering and architects, uh, finance, healthcare, legal, media, mining and minerals, outreach, small business, trade and investment. And it, it shows the sector leaders, starting with agriculture. I'm going to say my favorite, my closest uh, uh, passion or whatever. Yeah, agriculture. And it shows the sector leaders and their who they are, a picture of each leader, and their email address and so on. Interestingly, the global director of the agricultural sector is Professor Linley Chiwana. Uh, I'm going to leave the last name. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Um, but very 
I, I feel so good about ADDI um, and I will join. The other thing I want to say about the ADDI is like I mentioned in the previous video that most black people, I don't think in middle class black individuals and poor in the poor class, I don't think we have the kind of financing to, to as individuals to make that first step on the, the pyramid and use the key that, that uh, Dr. Arikana or keys that Dr. Arikana showed us last time. I don't think we as individuals, but if we pool our resources, the, the, the Garvey movement, and it's not because I'm, I'm a Jamaican and all of that stuff, but even among the ADDI leaders, when you look at the videos, they keep talking about Garvey. And the Garvey movement, the ADDI is organized in many ways. Uh, it's a Pan-African organization. It's organized in many ways, like the Garvey movement, and most of the same things uh, about pooling our resources. So what I am have started to do is to check out some of some people who I know, business-minded, honest business-minded people. When I talk about people, those are the people I'm talking about. Honest, business-minded people who want to do legal, honest stuff, uh, to contact them, I've started, and to see how we can put uh, some financing together to do a little investment in Africa also. And I'm, always, I'm going to say Africa also, because as you will see in later, videos and uh, later videos and later segments that I'm still saying that wherever we are, we need to start a business or grow our business or other investments wherever we are so we can invest here and there, there being Africa. I'm talking about here, wherever you live, wherever you're from. In my case, here I'm in the USA as I said before, but also I am, uh, we have some investments in Jamaica and I'm encouraging people, trying to get people who I know, few of us to get together and pool some little resource to see how we can invest, make an investment in a, 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 a project in Africa. Now, the, these are investments, it's not, charitable donation or anything like that you know you put in and you will get benefits when the project starts to become profitable like growing a mango tree i keep saying that when it starts to bear fruit fruit you will get mangoes you'll get fruits in proportion to what you what you put in The next section of the ADDI website shows chapters. Yes, chapters in the USA and all of, oh, this is a beautiful website. It, it shows that the, the state, just like all, everything else, it shows the, the location, shows the person, shows the, the chairperson, the leading person, and their email, their contact information. In the case of the USA, California, Delaware, um, Florida, Illinois, DMV, which is Washington DC, Maryland, Virginia, New York, and so on and so on. Almost every, well, several states. Uh, uh, Texas, uh, Tri-State, and so on and so on. 
different states. Now, the other section shows the international chapters and starts with Antigua in the, in, in the Caribbean. Again, shows the chair, chairperson, uh, Miss, Miss Ray Higgins. Uh, in Antigua, Argentina, two people in Argentina, Australia and New Zealand, Austria, Barbados, Belize, Brazil, Canada, two in uh, East, one in Eastern Canada, one Western Canada, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, and so on and so on. I will uh, Latin America send and so on and so on. You will uh, uh, see these. I have just one comment about this international uh, chapters because the glaring omission is I do not see a chapter for you guessed it Jamaica and I do not know why because Jamaica not because I'm from Jamaica but Jamaica is the birthplace the home of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey the grandfather of Pan-Africanism and um, also the, ho the, the homeland, the well not the homeland, I guess Rastas wouldn't like me to say that Jamaica is their homeland. Well, it depends on what denomination of Rasta uh, we're talking about, but it, it's the origin of the Rastafari religion. So I don't know why Jamaica, there isn't a Jamaican chapter. I am going to try to find out why. And uh, please find out and take whatever action is necessary to make sure that we have a Jamaica chapter ASAP as soon as possible for a number of reasons. Uh, we know that Jamaica, in, in addition to the two things I mentioned already, Garvey and Rastafari, that uh, the influence of Jamaica and Jamaicans is worldwide and way ahead of the size of Jamaica and the population of Jamaica, Jamaica, uh, Garvey, um, Bob Marley, uh, Usain Bolt, uh, and way back Colin Powell and you name it, uh, uh, people who either are from Jamaica or their parents are from Jamaica and so on. So please find out. Now, I suspect that it might be lack of information because I did not know about ADDI before last week or the week when my friend sent the video about Dr. Arikana and, and she mentioned the ADD, I did not. I did not know about ADDI. So it's possible that many that Jamaicans don't know about ADDI, and that's why there isn't a Jamaican chapter. So, um, but it needs to be fixed, whether from the Jamaican side or from the ADDI side. I hope that they reach out to their Jamaican contacts. I know they have Jamaican contacts. Uh, so from both ends, we need to get the Jamaica chapter up uh, as soon as possible, up and active, so that we join with our brothers and sisters from places that have, I know they have few uh, black people, few Africans, Paraguay, and so on. Suriname, I know Suriname, I, I, uh, I know Suriname, I know of Suriname, Sweden, and so on and so on. Suddenly you left me alone by myself. So um oh lastly I want to mention the oh no I mentioned the sectors already uh the and the chapters and there is much more about ADDI um 
Oh, and oh, the projects. Yes, it, they have many projects in Africa and in the diaspora. And when you go to the website and follow up the links and watch the videos, you will see the extent to which uh, how impressive and how wonderful and how extensive uh, the AD, they are doing a great job. I lift my, my, shouldn't say lift my hat, I don't have a, uh, so yes, I lift my hat. If I had a hat or a cap to them, they are doing a, a wonderful job. And in subsequent videos, I will keep mentioning or showing so, uh, uh, part of the video, I will show what ADDI is doing um, on a regular basis in all in all of these videos. However, I'm not going to leave out the original intention of the Black Econ Network, which is to build a network and to encourage business development and ownership of business wherever we are and to make use of the opportunities that exist wherever we are. And um, so, yes, we'll stick to that also. And not only ADDI, uh, other movements, other organizations to, so we can build this black economic power movement involving various organizations working together. Uh, so, yes, I will stick to, I will continue in other videos, future videos, showing what ADDI is doing, what the organizations are doing. And we are all working, uh, 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 all of us who are working towards that goal of economic liberation economic independence by the African race in Africa and in the diaspora. Um, and the lastly, I want to say uh, financing the in terms of business development, I, uh, financing such an important part. And I actually intended to include uh, section on financing, but I can see from the from the length of this video, I don't want to make it, each video too long. I'll just do a, a separate video soon, in a few days possibly, or certainly the next video next week will be uh, about financing. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep up, keep supporting us. The uh, this network is doing pretty good. And um, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the video, share it with your, your friends. And uh, as I always say, keep your hopes alive. Uh, hope you keep healthy or get better from day to day. Health is better than wealth, although wealth is is important health is better than wealth and see you in the next video bye bye